Here we have a vintage Bandy Steam Loco number 4130. As you can see, it's in the original box, which is in pretty good shape considering the age and, of course, the size of the model itself. As you can see it's a pop-up easel. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you open it up, you lift the front up, and you see there's little grooves here and there. You tuck this in. And then you have your visual effect. <laughs> so it's a nice retail slash display box. And as you can see, the original train is in it. So what we'll do is we'll pop her out. And before I get to the train, as you can see inside the box, you do have the original protective insert on the bottom which is vital, it prevents it from going forwards and backwards and to the side, so it protects it very well while it's in its box, and it's been in its box its entire life. To the train, as you can see, it's full tin, very pretty, there's no rust, no dings. Traditionally, you see these steam plates up in front here, rust out, as well as the wheels themselves, but this is a great example of it. You see the back, you have the on-off switch. You can see inside, I don't know if you can peek inside the window, you can see it's got detailed instrumentation as well, which is pretty cool. And here you have the conductor with the red flag. He actually waves the flag as it moves along. And you can see the bottom of it is in really good shape. This is a very unusual one. The battery cover actually pivots it turns a little bit, as you can see, and that's the battery cover. And you can see the battery compartment is in excellent shape. It's both tin and particle board. The tin pot has the batteries on it. The particle board has the contacts. You can see there's no rust. It's in great shape all the way around. And while we have it open, it does take three size D batteries. I'll put the batteries in now, but they are not included with the offer. Put the first one in. Call it to the directions. Second one. Make sure it's off. And the last one. Close it, lock it, and then you're good to go. What I'm going to do is put it on the ground behind me and turn it on. This particular one has great action. It goes forwards and reverse. It squeaks like the brakes are making a grinding noise. It makes a tuka 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 tuka. <laughs> the, the locomotive noise, if you will. And it actually speeds up so you get uh, sound out of that. The bellow light in the front does flash, it does work. This is a 100% original example. And also the conductor you can see in the back, he does actually wave the flag as he's moving along. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the wheel a little bit, turn it on the ground and, and let it do its little circle things. And um, it's gonna go forwards and backwards. And we'll let it do two complete cycles so you get a good understanding as to exactly how it works. Okay, we're gonna put it down here. And again, we have the wheel turned, so it's gonna go in circles. And we're gonna turn it on, and off it goes.
And there you have it, two complete cycles. Perfectly working, vintage bandy, number 4130 train. There's a good doctor. And thank you for your time.